All right, guys, we're going to take a look at a brand that I don't get on the channel very often. And I have to thank Saltzman's in Rhode Island for sending this over so we can, so I can see it, so you guys can see it. Uh, big thanks to Richard and the entire crew over there at Saltzman's Rhode Island. Link in the description as well as direct contact information so you can get a hold of Richard or really anybody on their crew will be able to help you. They're all knowledgeable and friendly. So let's get into it. Raymond Whale. This is a nice size dress watch that could potentially pull off some extra duty. It doesn't have to be a dress watch, right? Uh, 39 and a half millimeter stainless steel PVD coated kind of rose gold colored case. The lug to lug is a 46.3 millimeter. Incredibly thin at only 9.5 millimeter thick. You see it's boxed in uh, pretty much flat sapphire crystal, maybe a slight dome. Anti-reflective coating top and bottom, keeping that legibility super clear. And you have a 20 millimeter lug opening. So if you want to swap out to a different strap, although this leather strap is excellent. Not only is it a perfect match for this watch, if I were to wear this strap out, I would purchase another one. That's how good it is. It's actually a very nice strap. 6.45 millimeter signed push-pull crown. That is a really nice kind of oversize, really for the how thin this case is, making it very easy to operate. Keeps a 50 meter water resist on it, and you do have a nice display case back. I'm not gonna peel that sticker off, but you can still see it plenty. And that movement there is what Raymond Whale is calling the RW4200, otherwise known as the Salida SW200 with a custom rotor. And then on the front side, we have a nice silver, almost sector dial look to it with the crosshairs that are actually kind of deep, you know, cut into that. And then that also coated rose gold colored handset matching the case as well as that bezel being a vertical grain to it with a polished relief check out those lugs too they're not just regular lugs they're a little more ornate very cool looking plenty legible little bit of loom on there at least on the hour and minute hand i'll try to show that at the end of the video I don't see any spots on the dial for loom, but when you're working with watches like this, really loom is not the focus, or, or really shouldn't be anyway. Here's the hang tag. You can see a retail price, $16.95. You'll probably get some sort of discount. There might even be a discount code down below. I don't see this particular watch on the Saltzman's website, so this will be one, if you want this exact one, you're probably going to want to call Richard and get that set up. They might add it onto the website. I know they're still play, playing catch up with some of those uh, watches, these newer watches being added to the website. They are trying their best to uh, update that. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I don't typically gravitate or wear watches of this style. I think they look amazing. I wish I, and maybe I will get to the point where I do gravitate toward having a few of these in my collection because there are times where a dive watch, you know, isn't, you know, just not in the mood or whatever, or a field watch isn't going to cut it, or a, you know, a pilot style watch is just not what I'm looking for, or a chronograph, you know, sometimes only a more dress oriented watch is really going to do what. I want to do or capture my mood even if I'm just wearing shorts or blue jeans and a t-shirt sometimes I just want to you know wear a, a dress watch so there's definitely a place in my collection to add something like that I just haven't done it but this could easily be a contender from this brand maybe this model or one of their other ones for sure uh, very interesting history with the brand check it out actually I'll probably put some sort of like link down below in case you didn't know about the brand i don't typically cover this stuff but uh you know there's like a lot of history with this brand i didn't realize um and it seems like they're still independently owned i think it's, it's, it's what it looked like when i did a quick search of it anyway um if they're not chime in and let me know 
because I'm still learning myself. We learn from each other. Give this quick blast with the UV light. I really think the loom is probably reserved for the hour and minute hand. I could be wrong. It is super luminova, but um, actually those indices are loomed. I didn't think they were. It's got to be some sort of black loom or something, though, because they don't look like regular loom. And they're definitely more dim than the hour and minute hand, but they are there. So sneaky, sneaky. Well done. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.